On May 5, 1961, America sent its first astronaut into space, beginning a new era of exploration and discovery. From orbiting the Earth, to landing on the Moon, to creating shuttles that carried astronauts to and from an International Space Station, we constantly pushed and exceeded the limits of what we thought was possible. The courage and bravery that it took to exceed those limits was embodied in the men and women of the astronaut program. The best of the best. To be an astronaut, it took an incredible hunger for knowledge and discovery and an even stronger mind. And now, manned spaceflight embarks on a new journey with a new crop of astronauts who will be facing an all too familiar foe. The unknown. And then there's us. We're the next crop of astronaut hopefuls that are seeing if we have what it takes to become NASA astronauts. We're at the astronaut training experience at the Kennedy Space Center in Titusville, Florida. And we're gonna find out what it takes to get to and survive on Mars. Here at the ATX, you can navigate Mars train, conduct a spacewalk, and do actual NASA experiments at the Mars Base One Botany Lab. That's right, we're gonna go head to head to find out who's the best. I'm the best. I'm the bestest. We're moving on. We're now inside Mars Base One, where you get to experience life on the red planet and go through rigorous scientific and engineering challenges. To succeed, we need to think quickly on our feet and use all the knowledge and brain power we have. And the old Google machine, am I right? No Google machine? We can't use Google in space? What about if I want to send a Snapchat? How are we supposed to take selfies? I don't understand. I'm confused. Instagram? Looks like we're going to have to rely on the old noodle. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Jennifer, I think I know what we need to succeed today. Listen to instructions, believe in yourself, and work as hard as you can. Nope. A montage. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you so frustrated? These greens are obviously delicious, but I think it's time for a Space Dots break. When did you first realize you wanted to become an astronaut? When I found out they get all the Space Dots they can handle. I don't think that's true. Oh, it's true. Right? All right, we definitely crushed it at Mars Base One. We can totally survive on Mars. <laughs> Kids. We've made it to the training stages at ATX. Here you can try to land on Mars, do a spacewalk in microgravity, and even hone your docking skills. Well, good thing I wore my dockers today. You see what I did there? Highbrow humor around here. Why don't we just get in these simulators and let our skills do the talking? Let's do it. Did we get that? You get the freeze frame? All right. Now, astronauts have to have nerves of steel in these types of situations. And these are the exact situations that I thrive in. It was a pretty realistic simulation, but I think I crushed it. up one of the soil collectors and place it as close to the target zone as possible. Child's play. Sir, just please walk normally. What do you mean I am walking normally? We had an absolute blast at the Astronaut Training Center. I feel like now we're both fully equipped to be NASA astronauts. 
It really was amazing learning how to live on Mars and do a spacewalk, and I can't believe how realistic those simulations were. So realistic. I know I had a great time. Right. Now that we know what it takes, now it's your turn. Next time you're here on Florida Space Coast, come check it out.